Wow, okay. Hello everybody, this is Surreal Nirvana, and today I want to do something a little bit different than uh, just a normal game series. I've um, been kind of wanting to set up a series um, where we'll more talk about life and things going on in my world, um, and I figured Minecraft would be one of the best sort, uh, sort of mediums, I suppose, to do that. What is this? that behind me what are you uh, we'll just just ignore you for now um i'm currently playing in modded minecraft uh this is the minecraft eternal mod pack so if you were wondering why everything looks so much more um oh geez what are you a frigid no, go away. Shoot. Hmm. <laughs> Let it go. So, uh, it's been a few weeks since I went ahead and uploaded, and I figured I have not yet done a series where I actually talk with you guys, uh, my um, my subscribers and followers. So, uh, this seemed like a good idea. We'll go ahead and do this for I don't know the next half hour or so, and. I'll upload it, see how it goes. If you guys enjoy it, we'll kind of do it some more in the future. Maybe make a series out of this as well. Um, just like in any Minecraft world, you're gonna go ahead and start off. We're gonna go ahead and start off with chopping down some trees to get some wood. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting last month or so for me. I caught the dreaded COVID-19, um, which was uh, which was fun. I had mild uh, like the mild form of it uh, which basically involved a lot of uh, me feeling sleepy uh, a little bit of chest pressure um, a lot of confusion uh, and not like confusion like oh I don't know um, you know why the road goes this direction rather than that direction and more like I, I my brain was having a hard time processing general I guess reality it was an odd experience uh, but basically I just ended up having to close my eyes for five or so days um, and sleep um, because my my brain just couldn't take normal the normal world around it that was probably the worst part of the the virus for me uh, luckily I didn't have too much like lung chest issues uh, no coughing um, nothing like that, uh, so very mild form of the virus for me, but went ahead and, um, got tested, confirmed, and now I'm just sort of, um, almost back to normal. I still feel a little odd, and they said it could take a few weeks, um, after, after you have the virus to go ahead and, uh, fully recover. Uh, it was, uh, it was an, it was interesting, it's not something I would really want to go through again, so... Uh, other than that, um, I've been kind of just living my life the best I can. Uh, it's been interesting kind of being stuck inside every day, all day. Especially right now as, um, you know, I'm kind of what they would call like a, like a typhoid Mary. Like if I go outside, uh, anybody I talk to or I'm around are basically being exposed to, uh, to COVID-19. Um, and I'm, I try not to be a murderer, and I kind of feel anybody that doesn't take, uh, take the virus seriously, um, especially if they've had it, is, and just it goes out and tries to live their, their life as is, is pretty much a killer in my book. Um, they should know better. Oh, I think we got enough wood. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find a nice little house. This is a pretty area, but not exactly what I'd be looking for in, uh, terms of what I would call homey. So, yeah. That's how I kind of feel about that. What's in here? A magic bean? Will you grow into a beanstalk? Whoa! Nope, oh, let's, 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 let's climb.
Uh, bean pod? Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Um, yeah, hopefully we find another one of those later so I can actually see what's inside a bean pod. So yeah, this is, uh, this isn't vanilla Minecraft we're currently playing in. This is called MC Eternal, which is a mod pack. If you're not familiar with mod packs, um, for Minecraft, they're very, very expansive. Uh, changing the games fundamentally from the ground up. Uh, I suppose I should probably make a pickaxe for that. Um, not just in terms of the way it looks, but... Um, pretty much everything in, in terms of Minecraft, it adds like electricity and it adds magic and more than just like enchanting. Uh, you can see right there, if you're familiar with vanilla, I have a different crafting table than you might be used to in this crafting table. And I can go ahead and leave my items in there and they don't just plop out. So we'll go ahead and get a little coal. Do a little mining. Um, so yeah. I'm more preferential towards the whole modded Minecraft experience rather than vanilla Minecraft. Uh, I was one of those people that bought and got into Minecraft way back in alpha, back before the nether even existed and was, uh, was a glimmer in Notch's eye. Um, so after a certain amount of time, just like anything, it gets, it gets pretty old. Like I could probably run from start to finish to the end in vanilla with my eyes closed. Um, I love building in Minecraft, but after a while, you know, you just kind of get tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. I need some more stone. Um, and apparently, you know, there's a huge community of people that felt the exact same way, and Minecraft, the way that it's built, maybe we'll make a cave house right here. For right now, do a little mining, we got about half a day left. Uh, so... The modding community, uh, as far as I can determine, is probably the largest one in existence. Uh, like, it's it's almost astounding on the amount of uh, amount of content that these people have added to the game, ranging from new diff new and different types of ore. Uh, this one right here is from Thomcraft. It's called Amber. Uh, you can use it to help gain knowledge and used in different. Uh, crafting recipes in Thomcraft, which is a magic based mod that is um, uh, It's like its namesake. It's a Thomic or it's almost kind of like a steampunk sort of um, Sort of experience where you you're very Dealing with like the essence of items like you know rock has earth on it and uh, uh, diamond has gems and um Zombies have like uh, like evil sort of uh, things in them. Like it's 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 pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's, so we'll do a little mining. We're gonna go ahead and build a little room here. Make ourselves um, a basic little alcove, and then after that, we'll go ahead and see if we can't find a nice little area to call home. And we'll build a house. And, um, and we'll continue kind of doing that. So let me go ahead and mine for a little bit. And I will be right back. All right, and we are back. As you can see, it is now night. Wow. I didn't know these were in the game. That's very pretty. Uh, so one of the benefits is of modern Minecraft is going to be stuff like that. It's just view. Look at this view. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, went ahead and got a little alcove right here. I have a nice little stove. You might be wondering what the heck tiny coal is. What we can do with coal now is actually divide each piece into eight different chunks. And each chunk of those will actually do something very cool. 
So the way Minecraft works is a lot of the mechanics are based on ticks um, and it's something like, a, I don't know, like a thousand ticks per second or some nonsense like that. But uh, this right here will push this through for a burn time of 200 ticks, which is about how long it takes something to smelt normally. So what normally you would waste an entire piece of coal on, you can actually use just one piece of tiny coal and get the uh, the, res the resulting smelt out of it without waste. Um, it's pretty cool, especially in early game, and you can do the same thing with charcoal as well. Um, very handy. As you can see, I set up a little chest with a bunch of the doodads and um, uh, thingamajigs that we got. Um, you may also notice this little book right here that we started off with. This is our quest book, and another one of the benefits of modding Minecraft you're going to find is a lot of these people are very, very, very creative. Uh, the person who made this mod pack um, has designed a quest system. Now, the, the, they didn't make the quest mod, but they definitely added all this in here. Um, and as you can see right here, starting quest before you can bring your new... Uh, before you can begin your new adventure, you have to sign a contract where it essentially says your soul belongs to me for all eternity, blah, 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 everything you read. And create is proprietary property of me, and the writing becomes so small it's unlegible. And we just click on this. Go ahead and choose. Uh, we get a reward for just clicking this right here. Some of them will require... Ooh, we got a paper cleaver. Uh, some of them will require you to do some basic tasks like... Um, a gift. Thank you for downloading my pack. Lots of work went into making this. Hopefully, or lots of work went into making this. Hopefully, a fun experience for everyone. Enjoy, Adam. So right here, just by visiting the overworld, which everybody starts in, we are given a gift. And we get a reward of a trash can and some coins. Now, I'll explain the trash can in just a second. But the coins are something we can use in a shop. So as you can see right here, I went ahead and went into the quest. You can see we have a shop in the top left-hand corner. Go ahead and click on that. Um, we have different categories, ranging from a black market all the way up to a miner's grotto. But let's reverse that, starting at a miner's grotto all the way to a black market. And each one of these costs um, a different amount of coins. And as you progress further and further throughout the mod pack, you will unlock additional um, items in the store that you can you can purchase. Uh, right now we only have 50 coins. If we really wanted to, we could buy a stack of cobblestone. We are not going to do that. But as you can see, for 600 coins, we can get an emerald. Uh, for 80,000 coins, we can get a fire axe. Um, for 30,000 coins, we can get a Tome of the Diligent, which uh, is something that's related to Electrobob's wizardry uh, mod where you can become a wizard. Yeah, you know, modded Minecraft has a lot going on with it. Uh, we can get enchantment books, we can get different types of swords and backpacks and uh, different tools like a hang glider so we could glide around a little bit. We got some different types of food. Everybody loves Swedish meatballs, right? Floor gang. Whoop. We got some oddities right here and so on and so forth. So forth. Um, for the majority, of, I think we're going to be sticking to just uh, the introduction um, for a very long time. It, there's a lot to do, but we, we have things like um, if you want to go farming, if you want to go ahead and start a colony, things for exploration or going to different dimensions. Yeah, once again, there's a lot going on with modded Minecraft. Um, looks like we got... A forgotten trash can, which has a bunch of junk. Definitely could use the tunic. We'll take the wooden sword. I don't... I mean... This only does... Uh, we'll go with this, this the wood one. And we got a copy of contract. A rat burger. That sounds delicious. Some intestines, which we can right click. Which will get us some goodies that you normally actually would have a hard time just randomly finding. Like, not an ink sack, it's not ever too hard to find a squid, but finding a slime can be a big pain. Uh, we got some cheese for a different mod, which we will hopefully eventually get into. We'll just dump all this stuff in here, keep some food, we'll throw that in there. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and continue mining for a little bit and I shall be back once I get some iron and other goodies. Okay, now this is something I wanted to show you. Actually, two things in one. So as you can see right here, here is something that um, vanilla Minecraft players may be very unfamiliar with. This is copper ore. It's on the same sort of level as iron, but it's going to be used in um, a lot of crafting recipes for different types of machines. Another thing I wanted to show off is something that's called Vein Miner. Now, a lot of you may be familiar with Vein Miner, but we just hold down the asterisk key and Instead of having to spend an hour mining out a vein, while that was a very small vein, we actually have to spend, we now only have to spend seconds. Saves a lot of time, a lot of grief. Very handy when it comes to things like um, diamond ores or any types of ores, um, obsidian if you're trying to mine that out. The downside to it is going to be that it uses not only up your not only your weapons or your items durability, it also will definitely eat into your um, your current saturation, your hunger saturation. So you see uh, the bar on the the right hand side of the experience number, um, the little chicken nuggets. Uh, you may notice that there is a golden outline on the very last one. Um, Another benefit of modded Minecraft is you can see a stat that has actually always been present in Minecraft, but they never decided to let you guys see it, and that's the hunger saturation bar. Um, basically, your chicken nuggets um, have two bars. One is just a normal chicken nugget, and the second is how saturated you are, which is going to be its golden glow. Um, you can only eat, of course, when your chicken one of the chicken nuggets at the very top has gone down. As you can see, I just vein mined all that gravel, and it ate up a bunch of my hunger. We found a nice cave system, which I'm very appreciative of finding. Um, so while it is definitely something that will make life much, much easier for the average miner, um, just be aware that you're going to probably need to bring a bit more food. So, as you can see, chicken nugget bar is now full and all but the last two are golden. Um, so that's a, that's a very actual useful metric that uh, there's no reason it shouldn't be in vanilla Minecraft, but just another thing that modded brings um, to the surface as a quality of life feature. So, once again, I will be back once I actually find some iron and we'll go ahead and move forward. Alright, there we go. Some iron. Took a little bit to find it, but um, it looks like we were able to get eight. Eight iron should do us to start off. Basically, we want to go ahead and get some upgrades and some basic machines going. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was a fun little mining experience. Not too difficult. Lots of new things that... Um, uh, have been added to the game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have some Surges Quartz from Applied Energistics too. Now Applied Energistics is um, is probably one of the more important mods that we can name. It basically allows you to go ahead and put all your items into a storage unit. Um, the lore behind it is it converts it into bits and those bits are now stored on a hard disk, which you can then materialize using an applied interest terminal. Pretty cool. 
Um, let's see here, we got 16 copper, and that would have been about it. A little bit of aluminum ore from Thermal Foundation. Now, Thermal Foundation is probably one of the more expansive technology mods that have ever been uh, created. Uh, it allows you to do things like automatically smelt your metals and uh, go ahead and um, like create uh, things that would be harder to find. Like uh, you might be looking for a type of ice or if you wanted to create obsidian without having to go uh, down to bedrock or, or find a lava, uh, lava vein and pour water on it. Um, all, all very useful and we'll go ahead and get into it as we move forward. Um, uh, let me go ahead and decide what I want to do first now that we got a little bit of stuff. Uh, we'll jump all this off. We'll be needing that for a little bit. And I'll be back in just one second. Alright, I think I've decided what we are going to go ahead and do. We'll go ahead and do this and then I think we'll go ahead and end off this first part after that. So the thing I want to go ahead and do is go ahead and create a Tinkerer's workstation area, basically. Um, now, some of you might be going, what the heck does that mean? Uh, in this mod pack, there is a mod called Tinkerer's Construct. And in Tinkerer's Construct, uh, you can create tools. Um, and add modifiers to those tools um, to give them better and different stats. So first off, we're going to need a few of what are called patterns. We'll just make eight of them for right now. Um, and we have a couple different things that we need to go ahead and make first uh, before we can go ahead and get this whole process started. Uh, very first thing we're going to go ahead and make is a tool station. Uh, then we'll go ahead and make a... Uh, maybe not that. We'll make a... A stencil table. Um, I don't have any wood logs, do I? No. Let's go chop down a tree real quick. Okay, got a tree. Let's go ahead and make the da, 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 the part builder. And we'll go ahead and make another one of these crafting benches, which as you can see, you just put a crafting table in a crafting grid and you can go ahead and create one of those. And I'll just plop them down anywhere for right now. We will kind of want to pay attention to where they go in a little bit, but luckily everything can be moved around. Um, next and Finally, we're going to go ahead and make what is called a pattern chest. This will be handy for holding patterns. And let's see here. Yeah, let's put... Let's put this here. And I believe I should be able to access that right there. We'll add these stencils right here and this is going to go ahead and be a, kind of a basic sort of tinkerer construct work area and what we're going to do is make probably one of the most basic sort of tools you can make and that's going to be a pickaxe we're going to need a pickaxe head we will need a binding pattern we will need a tool rod and that's all you're going to need for a pickaxe um, let's go ahead and get some materials. I think we're going to use flint. And... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll stick with wood for the handle. Maybe for the binding material, we'll use... I don't know. I don't know. Stone. Each one of these has a different modifier. Um, and... All right, yeah, each one of these has a different set of stats and uh, different modifiers that can be applied to it. Uh, we're not going to care about that for right now, though. Um, let's go ahead and start off by making a pickaxe. We'll use, I don't know, flint for the head. We'll use wood for the rod, and we'll use stone for the binding. 
take those, put them in a tool station, select the tool we want to create. And as you can see, we do have a wide selection that we can choose from, even a sign. This isn't a sign that you put down, it's a battle sign, and it's the ultimate defensive weapon, as you can clearly see in the description over on the right hand side there. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and create a very simple pickaxe. We have ourselves a paint. We have ourselves a flint pickaxe. Uh, looks like we have a mining level of iron, which is going to go ahead and be the same as our stone pickaxe, but this should hopefully last a bit longer. I think we have, yeah, trash can it. Perfect. So there we go. This right here is a flint pickaxe. Um, let's go ahead and just use a little bit of it up. As you can see, just like a normal pickaxe, it mine. Oh, hello? Hello? What? Oh, whatever. Um, and it has a durability bar just as you would expect. But unlike a normal tool, this one right here can be repaired. We just go ahead and go over to a tool station. Go ahead and plop our pickaxe in there. Um, you're going to use one of the main ingredients for it. Plop that next to it. And there we go. Fully repaired pickaxe. So with that, don't have to worry about constantly having to carry five or six different pickaxes until you work your way up to a diamond pickaxe you don't have to worry about any of that anymore um yeah so i guess that will go ahead and be it for this part um or for this episode rather today um hopefully it is entertaining and you enjoyed it um and we can go ahead and continue it on forward uh thank you so much for watching um, as we continue going, I hopefully will get more comfortable doing this um, and talking with you. This really is supposed to be kind of a series for um, for my subscribers and, and viewers that just kind of want to see what's happening with me, what's going on in my life, um, and, uh, you know, kind of build that sort of connection that, uh, that I think is really lacking. Um, on my channel right now um, you know we have over over 2,000 different uh, people that have decided to hit that subscribe button and I'm pretty sure not a single one of you um, even you know knows uh, what my favorite color is or or you know who I am as a person uh, which is you know not something that we want to continue so hopefully this will be something that we can grow um, and we can use to kind of, you know, get closer um, as, as a, a content creator and a viewer. Um, thank you so much for watching this. It, it means quite a bit to me. Um, if you, you know, feel inclined, hit that like button. It means YouTube will recommend the video out to more people. Um, the more people that hit that button. I actually really don't care if anybody likes this. Um, as long as you... Um, you know, uh, enjoy the time we have together, good or bad. I'm happy to provide. Take it easy.